Hi everyone, and welcome to today's tutorial, where we will be creating the Eye of Sauron. This is part one, and in this part we will be creating the Eye itself. So here we are in After Effects. We're now going to start off by clicking on the Circle Mask tool and drawing a shape mask. Make sure it looks a bit like a cat pupil or an oval. Make sure the shape layer is black. In the shape layer settings, we want to adjust the opacity to 82% to make the pupil kind of see through. We then want to head over to the effects and presets and add the CC cross blur effect onto the shape layer. On the CC cross blur, make the X radius 8 and the Y radius 21. Make sure the transfer mode is set to blend and repeat edge pixels is set. Next, we want to add a roughen edges effect to make the pupil less smooth. In the rough and edges setting, set the border to 10.4, edge sharpness to 0.06, and scale to 48. Next, go to the evolution and put your mouse over the stopwatch button. Press Alt slash Option on your keyboard, then left click the stopwatch. This brings up the coding expression area. In that area, delete the text already there and type in time times 100. To not get confused later on, rename the shape layer to Pupil. Next open up the transform area and click the stopwatch on position and scale. Animate the position to make the eye move from one side of the screen to the other. Play around with the scale as well to get a more natural feel. Once you're done with that, close up the pupil layer, and on the top left of your screen click on layer, then new, then solid. Make sure the solid is white. Click OK to add the layer. Once the layer is added, click on the mask tool in the upper left and mask the general shape of an eye. It doesn't need to be perfect. Also set the white solid layer to multiply. Click on mask and set the mask feather to 108. Next go to effects and presets and type in fractal noise. Drag the fractal noise effect onto the white solid. Set the fractal type to dynamic. Change the contrast to 126 and brightness to 14. In Transform, untick Uniform Scaling, and in the Scaling, change the Scale Width to 268.6. You can change the Offset Turbulence if you want to as well. Then, change the Blending Mode of the Fractal Noise to Multiply. Click on the Evolution stopwatch and animate the evolution. Here I'm changing the video quality to a third so that I can view the footage in real time to see my animation at work.
Once happy with your animation, make sure to turn video quality back up to full. Next, in the Effects and Presets tab, search up curves and add it to the white solid. Use the colour channels to adjust until your eye is kind of orange. Next, add the set mask effect to the white solid layer. Change take matte layer from source to masks. Also change use for matte from alpha channel to lightness. Next, from the effects and presets tab, add a tint effect. Change map black to red and map white to orange. Next, change the amount to tint to 26%. Rename your white solid layer to flame. Now at the top, press on Layer, New, then Solid. This solid needs to be black. On the black solid, add the Advanced Lightning effect. Change the origin and outer radius until you're happy. Next, hover your mouse over the conductivity state stopwatch. Press Alt slash Option on your keyboard, then left click. Depending on your mouse settings, it may be right click. In the expression area, type in times times five. Close up the lightning effect and press on transform. In transform, change the position and scale so it looks like the lightning is in the eye. Also change the opacity to 25%. Next, add a curves effect onto the black solid. Adjust the curves to try and get a kind of red slash orange look, yet still with a slight blue tint. Next, add the tint effect. Change map black to orange and map white also to orange, with just a slight difference. Change the amount to tint to 39%. Next, add a Lumetri colour effect. Now go down to RGB curves and drag the red channels up. Also go to the hue verse sat and move the orangey red upwards.
Then go down to color wheels and change the highlights to more of a red color. Next, add the Gaussian Blur effect and change blurriness to 10. Now, change the blending mode of the black solid from normal to classic color dodge. Rename the black solid to Lightning 1 and duplicate the lightning effect. Now, go through and change some settings slightly in this new lightning layer. Move this new lightning into a new position. Do this until you have nine lightning layers, all in different positions. Now click on layer, new and adjustment layer. In the adjustment layer, add the Saber effect. Now this is a third party plugin, and if you do not have it, you need to go to the Video Copilot website and download it. It is free. Now, change the preset of the Saber plugin to electric. Now, change the glow color to orange. Change the core size to 1.20. Also drop the flicker layer down and change intensity to 100%. Hide the adjustment layer, and while still in the adjustment layer, draw a mask around the eye. Then, turn the adjustment layer back on. Go into Customize Core, and change Core Type to Layer Masks. Change the adjustment layer's blending mode to Screen. In the adjustment layer, Click down Masks and change the Mask Feather to 100. Also change the Adjustment Layer Scale to 107 and the Opacity to 70%. Rename the adjustment layer to Electric Border. Now add a glow effect to the Electric Border layer. Change the glow radius to 48 and the glow intensity to 0.7.
As a side note, you can even change the distortion amount on the Sabre plugin to 20, giving the electric border more life. And that is part one of the Eye of Sauron tutorial over. Obviously in the next part, we'll be going over how we can add the eye to an environment. Thanks for watching. Sorry this took so long to get out, but I was gone for a while in September, and when I got back, my footage had disappeared, and I needed to re-record a lot of things. And then sadly, the footage disappeared on me again, and I had to find a way to get it back. Finally, I've been able to finish this. As I said before, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.